All right, my friends, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to try another ROG ally thing. Uh, this time we're going to do Borderless 219, 19, 20 by 1080, and then we're going to cap it at 30 frames a second with VSync on, and then graphics, we're going to do super resolution at 100. We're going to turn frame generation off, and we're going to try at medium settings so we're gonna go ahead and continue this journey and see if maybe we can get a locked 30 ish frames a second on this game oh looks like it's locking to 30 oh 60 because um i think maybe amd's fluid motion frames might be on I don't know i haven't tried to turn it off i don't have a keyboard hooked up to the to the rog ally to check that but hopefully we can stay at like a 30 frames per second um no apparently that is not going to happen not at medium settings look at that freaking It's like 23 frames a second. So let's try low settings if it'll actually get into the menu. Because it just seems like that is a little bit freaking hard for it. Okay, we'll apply that. And then we will go back to display and then instead of that we'll just do 16 by 9 we'll confirm that just so that we can see okay and there might be a little bit better Still gonna freaking drop every once in a while. So obviously if you're playing on Series X and S, you are gonna need some sort of we'll try FSR at seventy five. And then we will go down and try this at medium again. See if we can at least get it to whew, lock it. 30 frames. I mean, Believe it or not, it's almost kind of playable like this. That's weird. Where's our, uh, where's all our farming spot at? Dude, are you telling me that? Oh, I know why. I did not, uh, I did not rest at the shrine. That last time before I stopped playing and turned it off so let's go ahead and reset the area and let's see how this will play at medium settings like this I will restore all of my stuff all right let's go yep okay good Whew. I was like no we're not gonna be able to Farm this area. Yeah, we'll be able to farm this. A little bit of tweaking on this game, and they will easily be able to play this on like a series X or a series S D 
Dang, man. It's actually... It's actually feeling quite good. Playing this like this. Trying to fight that freaking guy with this dude spitting rocks at me. So 75% with FSR a 1080p on the ROG Ally is possible. So I think a 1080p, because we're at medium settings, so I think we could actually get a pretty decent experience on your I think we can freaking easily get a Series S experience worth playing. Or Series S, yeah, Series S. Eggs box Series S. This this is easily freaking playable because I feel like Series S is definitely stronger than the ROG Ally. I wonder if like developers would actually go out of their way to make like a an actual like uh dialed in version for siri or for rog ally and stuff that would be so freaking cool to just have them like tweak things you know so that like it performs you know really good and gives you good overall image stability and stuff because i think there's probably some stuff that we could lower a little bit yeah, dude, I'm not fighting this guy with those three three things up there spitting those things at me. I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit harder to uh, to play when uh, <laughs> when at 30 frames or when you're dropping below 30 frames. It does feel a little more on the janky side. Oh, big boys! Oh, sheesh! Dude, just don't survive. Yeah. Wish we could, like, get up there. But I don't know what the heck we'd be looking for up there. But you know what we do have is a couple of... I mean, so... I'm playing this on a 1440p monitor and the overall image quality and everything is looking very very well um, but let's see if we can get this to to hold an actual 30 frames a second by taking this down to like 67% Now, I mean, it's holding closer to 30 for sure. 
still going down a little bit every once in a while so let's just reset this area real quick so that we can go through that combat stuff again and see if whew, see if that will give us a better experience I mean I think this game would run perfectly fine on the eggs box series A's. Whew. I think this dude's kind of sick and tired of me beating it up. Ha! Coming into this area for the first time, dude. Oh my gosh. When I when I first came over to this side, I was like, are you kidding me? That looks so freaking cool. Look at this guy right here. He's stuck in the freaking trees. He's not stuck no more. Whoa. Bink. I hate how it's like there's no iframes in between like their moves and stuff. You should get that. You should get iframes in between like some of these guys' moves and stuff. Okay, so that dude's not gonna Let's see if I can get this guy to wake up first. Gosh, he got me again. Just like the last time. Okay, so I want to get rid of this guy first before. Yeah, definitely playing this at... Let's turn invisible for a second. Oh, this dude's just his his uh AI went dumb. His AI just turned into dumbness. Sometimes the AI is like overpowered on this game. Sometimes it's very good. There's definitely some balancing that easily needs to still be going on with this game. Cause some of these guys, they don't even react. Every once in a while, it's they'll they'll just do that. <clears throat> like those shield guys, they'll just be like, eh, whatever. And they'll just sit there and hold guard. I mean, that's happened more frequently than, than I would like to admit. But uh, in, in overall balancing for this game, they could literally make this perfect. And, uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to go up here and do it with our little spitty guys. Gosh, damn. That is so freaking annoying. Ugh. Spitmans, you guys are toast. Just going through here, farming the sparks. It's like the most annoying thing on there is those things in the in in this in this level like while you're farming those three right there are probably the most annoying when you have to try to climb up here with that one dude freaking like on your butt because if you could like if you could like get him to come over this way maybe then it wouldn't be so bad but 
it being kind of annoying like that is so yeah medium settings 67 percent gets you pretty much 30 fps experience for the most part so i could easily see this thing running whoo, at decent quality settings on series s and still be a really fun playable experience at 30 frames but i mean if you were to see like right now locking this or using frame gen um let's see how that looks for you guys because now if we just come down here to display and then we just take our, our cap to 60 because you want you want the um you want the v-sync on when you're doing this because then it will Okay, so here's the thing. Now it's going to run. If you've got a VRR display, see, this is the good thing about Xboxes because you see how we are essentially running about 44 frames a second or whatever. With VRR, like, you will not even know the difference. And the, the gameplay is still going to basically feel like 30 frames per second in like your dodge timings and your your fighting and all of that stuff is still gonna feel 30 frames per second but the uh, overall um view the way the way it looks is gonna feel or is gonna look 60 frames per second I can't believe I never went over here and talked to this guy. Take it. Azure dust spells. Nice. <laughs> LOL. Dude, this game is so freaking great. I love it. This game is awesome, my friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you could easily play this. I mean, I'm looking at it on a 1440p monitor, and it absolutely looks incredible. Just got myself another one of them little bossy dudes. I like this game. Blink, pink, 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 body, pink, pink, body, pink. All right, let's go ahead. So, all right, my friends. Sorry for ruining that little uh, 
the spoiler for you and all but yeah guys this this is a cool game i like it i think it's freaking awesome so all right guys yes we have come to the conclusion that we can 100 percent run this on xbox series s i think that you would get a good experience so it's just a question of when the developer is going to put this out there's no reason why they shouldn't have had it out with a ps5 experience too um i i'm i'm recommending that they probably just go with like a 30 frames per second medium set medium quality settings maybe a little bit higher in some of the areas you know like vegetation push that up a little bit maybe push up some of the other settings just a little bit higher because there are some settings that you can play around with we're literally just playing around with like the presets on this uh, so I know they can get this running on Xbox Series S. So Xbox Series S is definitely not the problem. They've clearly taken money from PlayStation to delay the launch for this game on Xbox, which was kind of dumb. But yeah, this proves that it should run easily on Xbox Series S. So if you guys like this content, do not forget to like and subscribe. Hit me up in the comments section if you guys have any other things that you would like to talk about. Or if you would like me to check anything else on this on this game on the rog alley and uh yeah you guys have fun